Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Netgear Nighthawk MR1100. Setting up the Netgear MR1100 is pretty easy and it shouldn't take more than five minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have the correct SIM card in the device. As you can see, it should be installed so that it looks like this. The MR1100 does come with a SIM card in the box. But if you have another one, you want to make sure you put that in first. After you have the correct SIM card in the device, we're going to install the battery. And we install that by making sure that we have these metal connectors down here at the bottom right here, lined up with the battery right here. So as you can see, there are four little metal slots on the bottom of the battery. We're going to line those up with the metal slots on the device and then just slide the battery in like so. Once the battery's in, we're just going to put the back case back on, clip it in by sliding it down, and then we're going to turn on the device by pressing and holding this button just for a couple seconds until the screen turns on. All right, so it's booting up. Now this will take a minute or two to boot up, but really what we're waiting for is for it to start sending out a Wi-Fi signal. All right, so once the MR1100 has booted up, you'll be on this screen right here where it's telling us that we need to set up the device. And then we need to visit a URL on our computer or our cell phone to do this. Before we can access this URL, we need to find the name and the password for the Wi-Fi network that is being generated by this device. So we do that by pressing the button on the top twice to cycle through two screens. So as you can see, I'll press it once. It's gonna bring up this screen. We'll press it one more time. And this is gonna show me the Wi-Fi network that it's generating, as well as the password to gain access to that Wi-Fi network. Go ahead and connect to that Wi-Fi network. So as you can see here, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network now. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi network, you need to go to one of two URLs. I recommend typing in the IP address for the router right here. It's very simple. And I'll have all the URLs in the description. So if you get lost while you're doing this, I'll have all the steps with every URL that you need to be able to do this down there. So go ahead and go to 192.168.1.1. And once you get there, you'll see this, where it's asking you to change the router password. This is gonna be the administration password. So not the password used to access the internet provided by the Wi-Fi hotspot, but actually the password to change all the settings for this hotspot. So go ahead and enter a new password there. After we've changed the administrator password, we can change the network name and password there. So I'm going to change this to Gaging Gadgets and then give it a really easy password. So as you can see, I've given the network name Gaging Gadgets after my channel. And then also the password is password123 with a capital P. Very easy. I do not recommend using that password. You should use something much stronger than that. So we'll click next and then we're going to press finish and that will set up the device. It's going to apply the settings to the device. And then you'll see that the Wi-Fi network created by this device is going to be named Gaging Gadgets. So now that we've saved the settings and we've changed the name of the actual Wi-Fi network, we need to connect to that Wi-Fi network. So as you can see here in my Wi-Fi settings on my phone, I can see that Gaging Gadgets is available. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then type in my password. And now we're connected to it. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi network generated by the MR1100 is set up and it's sending out internet through the network. I'll do a quick speed test so we can see what kind of speeds we're getting. All right, so these speeds are not too bad. I don't get very good signal where I'm at, so I'm actually surprised that I got this kind of speed. So that's how you initially set up the Netgear Nighthawk MR1100. In my next video, I'll be going through the different settings available for this device, so check the link in the description to find that. If you have any questions about the MR1100, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.